Okay, here we have another modern matchup, Mono Black Infect versus the uh, lesser spotted Blue White Tron. Uh, it used to be a very popular deck back in the day, but uh, Green Red Tron became the uh, Tron of choice. So that was my phone there. Um, so our opponent leads off with a uh, Urza's Tower. We've got a ton of discard in hand, and uh, we're making discard a uh, Raven's Crime with Raven's Crime. He decides an Ulamog, which he shuffles back in. And uh, just a second. Okay, hey, sorry for that brief interruption. Interruption. Um, right, so we're going to wrench mind our opponent here, I think. I should drop a uh, tiny reinforcement, send a path to exile out of his uh, hand. You think twice is discarding a path and a wrath. Just going to sign in blood, then Raven's Crime. And uh, that makes him discard an, uh, an Iona. Which obviously would be pretty bad if he managed to play it. Naming black, so uh, the Raven's Crime he remands. I'm just going to Raven's Crime again to get the last card out. Turns out it was a Talaria West. And then we're going to sign in blood. So I haven't found anything to kill him with until just now. So uh, the Raven's Crime, make sure he gets that, rid of that last card, which is a new Lamog. Uh, he can actually play it last turn. If he had, uh, this game would have gone very differently, I'm sure. But uh, I think we managed to get that out of his hand and uh, drop a Crusader. Once gifts for Elashnorn and the burial rights, and then burial rights the Elashnorn then and there, thanks to his uh, massive amount of mana, due to uh, having Tron online. But uh, fortunately, we've got an answer to Elashnorn in the form of Go for the Throat, and uh, just going to sign in blood again. Managed to draw quite a few signing bloods, which helps us keep us stocked up. And, uh, I've already drawn another threat. In the the uh, in the form of a uh, Phyrexian Vat Mother, and drops nothing really. I'm just going to attack for four. I'm gonna stop on his draw step here, I think, and make him discard. So, provided it wasn't an instant speed spell, which uh, most of his cards aren't by the looks of it, uh, he's going to have to discard it. Turns out it was a Colonnade, which uh, it's nice to get rid of. Although uh, he wouldn't have actually been able to kill Phyrexian Batmother, but uh, maybe if, uh, prolonged his life for a turn more longer. So we're putting down to 8 here, and uh, he has to draw something off the top of his deck, and uh, fortunately he doesn't, and we win. So uh, managed to control that game really nicely, destroy his hand, and uh, deal with all his threats. So uh, performed pretty nicely. On to game 2.